Now your game should basically be functional. You should be able to move the player around, move both directions, and the bug should be chasing. And when it does catch the player, you should no longer be able to move the player. It should be stopped. So again, the player received the got player right here, and it stops the other scripts in the sprite. So it stopped this one that updates values, but it also stopped the movement script right here where it responded to the WASD keys. So the player is now no longer moving. I'm hitting buttons on the keyboard. Well, I'll hit them louder. So I'm hitting W and it's not moving. I can reset and you can see W I'm pressing, but if it gets me, I'm hitting W now, it's not getting me anymore. So it got the player. What you're gonna do next is create an animation. Uh, you can do whatever animation you want one option is you could just go to the beetle, go to the costume, you could duplicate, um, and I'll just go ahead and add something in. This is obviously not very cool, uh, but you can do something like this, where uh, this, you want a second, you want a visual feedback when the bug gets the player, so that's one option. Uh, you can also create an additional sprite in there an apple's not the greatest one. What's cool? I want some type of like explosion, which I don't think uh, lightning will do for now in a pinch. And you can put the lightning. Now it's a little tricky. You want to put the lightning where the bug or the player is. So how do you put the lightning where the bug or the player is? Well, you have the player X, player Y. You could access those. They'll be under variables. You got access to player X and player Y. Again, you have those because we created those variables and made them available to all sprites. So you can use that to, let's see, motion go to player X, player Y. And of course you need to put this, uh, you need to respond to a message and that will be the got player message. So when you receive the got player message, you can put that up here and then go to player X, player Y, and that will put the lightning bolt there. Obviously you wanna scale it down so it looks reasonable. I think that's silly to have a massive lightning bolt covering everything, but that would be one way to animate this. You also need a background, and your reset button needs to work. When you click the reset button, it should do everything except allow the bug to move. So it should put the bug in a random position but not let the bug move until you hit the go to button. And of course, how do you move the bug to a random position? This is the code you use to move the bug to a random position.